Hey, it's Jim Phillips with Clay High School Baseball. Just wanting to give a shout out to our 2020 senior class. Um, this could be a special group for me. The hard work and dedication that these guys put in made it truly enjoyable to go out to the park each and every day and watch them grow as not only players, but people as well. This group's gonna leave a lasting impact on this program through the leadership that they provided to our younger guys and not only showing them how to be a clay baseball player, but how to do that in the right way. So I'll forever be grateful to these guys for that. Um, when I found out about the season getting canceled, it was devastating. I mean, the first people I thought of were our seniors. All the hard work and time they'd put in over the last three and a half years and the goals we kind of had for this 2020 season, gone in the blink of an eye. Um, it's something that's always going to affect me and be with me. And I'll always feel for those guys and the season and the unfulfilled promise that it held. Um, now on, on to something a little bit more fun, talking about our five seniors that we have. Our first guy is Derek Bolander, who would have been the ace of our staff. He's heading on to Ohio Dominican uh, as a pitcher, and the best days on the mound for him are ahead of him. Um, a couple side notes about Derek. By far the best flow on the team and the best Euro step. Um, our second guy is Brendan Cannon, who would have been a middle of the order bat for us, played first, caught, pitched, DH, done a little bit of everything. Um, side note about him, he was hit the most in practice, in games, in scrimmages, out of any player I've ever coached. Our third guy, um, Andrew Collins, a five-tool guy, top of the order type hitter and one of the best defensive outfielders in this area. Um, also, little known fact about him, he's by far the best pitcher that we have that's never pitched in a game, practice or a scrimmage. You just got to ask him. Um, our fourth guy, Skylar Mays, is a consummate utility player who would have logged innings in the infield and in the outfield and on the mound for us. Um, he is a guy who respects the game and is just a grinder who you pull for instantly. Um, the big thing about him is he's the only guy who has, we gave him a nickname for his windup um, called the Rock and Chuck. So that was a first for me as a coach. Um, our last guy is Ty Simzak, who is our number two pitcher and a complete three pitch pitcher, which is rare at the high school level and our vocal leader, which we were looking forward to having him this year as the season progressed. Um, the big thing about him is he is a bone-in guy, not a boneless wing guy. So it's something interesting about him that he does not like boneless wings. Um, as I wind this down, I just wanna wish my seniors the best of luck as they head into the next chapter of their lives. I love them, they know that, and I'll do anything I can to help them out. Thank <laughs> you.